Hey y'all, it's me, your teacher, Leticia. Um, and today I'm doing a report on the book We Need New Names by No Violet Bulaiwayo. It's very important for us to also focus on African literature and think about the various intersectionalities that are in it. So, about the book, um, the book is basically divided in two parts. So it's a novel and the plot will be um, divided in the two parts as I mentioned. So in the first one, Darling, a little girl, um, shows us a little bit of her life in Zimbabwe and um, reflecting like the economical and political context of that time. And in the second part, we learn a little bit about her journey becoming an immigrant and moving to North America and more specifically to the United States. So, in Zimbabwe, we are able to see a lot of her adventures with her friends and the challenges brought by an extremely authoritarian and dictatorial government. We can explore a little bit of the role of religion in this context. We have some prophets who um, not only deceived the faith of people, but also practices sexual abuse, which is very serious. There is a specific character who is a victim of this prophet. So um, it's very interesting. It gives us um, a glance of part of this reality. Um, in North America, we can see um, like Darlin, grown up Darlin. She moves there to live with her aunt and she goes through a lot of um, new adaptations, adapting to that new culture and new social rules. Um, she also has to deal with the differences because she expected something different from what she was actually leaving. She deals with bullying, racial discrimination, xenophobia, loneliness, and a lot of other issues. So it's this part particularly, it's also very interesting and it focuses more on the immigration issue. So now that you have a general idea about this novel, we are going to work with the tale, um, how they lived, also from this book. Created using Powtoon.